Hey, welcome to another episode of Beers Jack of Barbecue. I'm Craig. Man behind the camera's Jack. Does all the editing, all the good stuff behind there that I don't have to do. Today, doing something a little bit different. We got four nice little lobster tails here. These were actually purchased um, for a holiday, and with everything going on, we actually had a few extra in the freezer, so I wanted to use them up. And we had a subscriber, uh, Ben, I won't say his last name, but Ben will know who he is because he asked if we ever did lobster tail. And honestly, I've done lobster tail on the grill here and there, but never just directly with charcoal. Um, so I typically do the lobster tails where I take them out of the shell. I do them sous vide, 143 degrees, 45 minutes, perfect lobster tail, and I'm happy with them. So just like we do it at Holiday Inn, we might make 15 or 16 of these small ones for the family. And doing a sous vide, there's no mess. There's, the mess is all done in the beginning and just get them all done. But today we're going to try to grill them. So we got the slow and sear kettle set up. Going to go indirect with them. I'm still going to shoot to like 143, 145 degrees. Uh, indirect the whole time. I'm going to probe two of them just to kind of keep an eye on where things are at. And then do a final check before everything's done. So uh, we're going to see these lobster tails on the grill. All right, let's throw these lobsters on the grill. Had it running about 300 right now, and it's kind of rising a little bit as, as it's going right now. So I'm gonna attempt to set these nicely. The probes ready to go. So I'm gonna stick two of them just to try to get to see where we're at here. To get a general idea on this temp. All right, going to close them up. When they get to about maybe 110 or so, uh, probably check them out at that point. All right, so we already hit 105, which I thought was pretty quick, but they are small. I was having trouble getting placement, so I do want to just get some regular temps here. It's actually reading up there pretty good, but it's like I said, it's, because they're small, it's hard to get a good reading on these. Okay, I'm actually going to let the let it go where it's at because I'm getting about the same range, which was 105, 108. So, gonna let them keep going. Instead, we're shooting for like 143, 145. All right, we're getting close, so I want to do a double check before we get to the end. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's just under, which is what I was getting a reading on. So, actually, these are dead on. These probes are right now dead on. Probably show it so you could flips around, and that's what I was reading. Right around 138 to 142 is what I was getting. So, just a few more minutes, and these are coming off. Okay, we're getting the readings we want. Just want to do one final check before pulling them off. But they look right. Yep, 145 on that one. Same with that one. This one has the probe in, which was already reading 145. And 145. So that's those are perfect. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna take one of these apart and get it on the cutting board, and we'll uh, let you know how they taste. As always, cheers. So here we are, end of the cook. Four nice lobster tails. Uh, like I said, they're only about five to six ounces a piece. Had the uh, slow and sear kettle running around 300. We started and finished around 325, which was perfect. Um, took these to about 145 degrees. Um, and like I said, my past experience with doing sous vide was about 143. Getting them done, 145. Everything looks nice here. So can't wait to try them. Also some brown butter. Um, something here in Pennsylvania. I'm not sure if everybody in the country knows where or other, other countries no brown butter, but basically it's like taking butter to the next level and you get a little brownie on it. Um, kind of brings out some extra flavor into it. Um, some sautéed pierogies, uh, something that my wife picked up for us. So it's actually a little, we don't often show too many sides, but these are something that's pretty good. So I'm going to uh, cut into one of these and see what they look like. I'm actually going to just take it apart real quick. Won't be pretty about it. 
and take a bite. They go nice and opaque perfectly. A little bit of brown butter. Mm. Lobster is such a treat. My wife and I and Jack and his wife actually often have traveled to Maine and we normally go twice a year and this year we aren't going to get there unfortunately. I don't think so anyway at this point but good to have some lobster at home here so it's a, a nice looking thing. I do want to mention with the Silencer Kettle we actually just uh, started being affiliates for them so um, if you purchase something off of from our link um, it actually just helps the channel out a, a little bit. Helps us do more things and some different things that we're trying to do all the time. So uh, hopefully like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, and we'll see you next time.